Some of the revelations at that book presentation event were absolutely scary. And they offer insights into not just what you will read in Disowned, but what is really going on out there in our societies. Nina will soon be joining us on Channels Book Club to further explore her book. You might want to look out for that. Coming up next, the latest winner of the biggest literary prize in Africa begins a book tour. Enjoy this report on it. In 2017, Ikeogu Oke won the Nigeria Prize for Literature for his operatic poetry book, The Heresied. The prize, sponsored by the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas NLNG Limited, is the biggest in Africa with a cash reward of $100,000 or about 36 million naira. After publicly presenting the winner, the NLNG takes the winner on a book tour around a few major cities in Nigeria. The Ethnic Heritage Center Ikoi Lagos was the first stop. With distinguished literary personalities like Professor J.P. Clark present, Ikiago tells the guests present why he has always written poetry. I didn't get into art because I wanted to make money out of it. In fact, uh, you know, the, one of the poems that I use as an epigraph to my um, acceptance speech for this prize, uh, which was read at Mozon Center, has a quote from um, Simus Healy, you know, which is one of my favorite quotes in, in poetry. He says, uh, what you do, you must do on your own. The main thing is to write for the joy of it. That's why I've always written. Ikeogu Oke also shared his thoughts on what poetry can do. Yeah, poetry is in danger in the sense that it's falling out of favor with, with global readership. That's my point, really. It wasn't endangered because it wasn't yielding money. Uh, it, its purpose is not to yield money, so yield joy as far as I'm concerned. Now, if it yields money, fine, but it should it could also yield money because what poetry does is it may not give you money, but it does for you. Okay, the Heresied is described as operatic poetry, and in explaining it, he writes in the preface of his book. There is perhaps a yet unexplored idea of poetry as an art form that transcends verse and goes on to embrace song, music, and drama. And so, when it was time for the author to read from his book, it turned out to be much more than mere reading, a style that is becoming unique to the Nigeria Prize for Literature winner. Turn all the kingdoms patch by patch. Dig him out and throwing him down to hell while still dripping with my acid spell. It's not a custom yet to spare a man who dares to glean our faults as best he can. Such. A man of learning, strike him dead and bring before my throne his upright head. There was an interest in question and answer time. Is in writing a passion or is it something that is inbred? Something that um, you just have to have it, you know, like a talent for it. If it's not, what do you think can be done? to bring it out? Um, writing is a passion. Uh, the ability to write in certain ways, in certain ways, anybody can write. But I believe the ability to write in certain ways is a gift. Whether you can appropriate that gift, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Now, mm -hmm. Even writing such as I do is not executed entirely by will. Like I said about the, these two packs, I could to do something years ago, but I couldn't write them by willing to write them. But the moment they started streaming into my consciousness and I realized, oh, these poems are finally here, it was so easy to execute. Ikeago's readings and performances on the day were not limited to the heresy yet. Again, 
Using his unique style, he entertained guests by performing a poem he wrote in remembrance of American rap artist Tupac Shakur. Honey, buddy, dude, and loved one, don't call me a heart of stone. Go to those alone before, to pay before you come for more. Money's friends along like a pies and the swallow eat and then is gone. And if you fight them with a bat, they can't fight back with a gun. Bah, 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 bah. You're not falling. Come on. Isn't the bullet hitting you? Bah, bah, bah. As the entries for the 2018 edition of the Nigeria Prize for Literature are still being received, the 2017 winner continues to play an ambassadorial role for the prize and the entire literary community in Nigeria through the book tour. Well, it's basically bringing out our best and brightest, both in the areas of literature as well as science and technology. That's why we endowed the Nigeria Prize, the Nigeria Prizes for Literature and for Science. And our thinking was this, yes we are a technology, we are a technology company, we are an energy company, but the development, the sustainable development of Nigeria is, you know, there, you know, wired right into our DNA as we continue to say. Um, anything that's, you know, good for Nigeria, good for business, good for us. Um, basically, when we look at the, the element of, you know, saying we, we must have a platform on which we celebrate our brightest and our best. You know, if we do not celebrate ourselves, nobody will do it for us. So that's part of the vision that we've got.